Navy plans to retire USS Harry S. Truman are dead in the water, according to House Armed Services Committee member Elaine Luria. 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding caught up with the Congresswoman today. Mike. Well, and Janet Luria says that she and other members of the Armed Services Committee agreed that the Truman should be retained. And one local expert I talked to today said that that would be very good news for Hampton Roads. I think it's dead in the water. Second District Congresswoman Elaine Aluria says the Navy's plans to not refuel the USS Harry S. Truman and allow the aircraft carrier to be decommissioned a quarter of a century early just don't make sense to her or her colleagues. I think it's preposterous. We invested in an aircraft carrier. Um, if you take the amount that it costs to build an aircraft carrier, you amortize that over 25 years instead of 50 years. We obviously haven't gotten good value for our dollar for the taxpayer. So, I mean, we need to use the ships that we have fully and we need to figure out how to maintain them and modernize them because the cheapest ship you have is the ship that you already have. Luria's comments come one day after the House Armed Services Committee met with Navy leaders. Ranking member Mac Thornberry said the committee is leaning toward refueling the ship. That echoed earlier comments from the chairman of the House Sea Power and Projection Forces Subcommittee, Joe Courtney, who said there was zero chance that his panel would authorize the Truman Retirement Plan. Keeping the Truman would be very good news for Newport News Shipbuilding and its many local subcontractors, who would benefit greatly from the 48-month for billion dollar overhaul and nuclear refueling contract, says TCC business professor Peter Shaw. That would probably entail some 3,800 employees, highly skilled employees, uh, and not to mention probably somewhere in the neighborhood of two to 400 suppliers across 20 states. This is a huge project. And we will begin to get a much clearer picture on how all of this is going to play out on June 4th. That is when the House Armed Services Committee begins its markups on the fiscal year 2020 National Defense Authorization Act. Now, incidentally, we caught up with Luria today at Lynn Haven Middle School. She was speaking to eighth graders there about the importance of public service. Reporting live in the newsroom, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.